Good morning and welcome to our weekly devotion and this morning we will meditate from the book of James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 and James says consider it pure joy my brothers whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance and perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything. I'm going to address the theme this morning. Why does God allow setbacks? Why does God allow setbacks? Now in real life, every time we face unfortunate events such as setbacks and illness, there is a temptation to think that God has forsaken us and no longer protects us and thereby we sink into negativity and begin to lose faith in God's power. But as long as we pray to God in these situations, we begin to understand His will and our mistaken viewpoints will be turned around. Now, in your belief in God, what do you expect to receive from Him? Do you want peace that is present regardless of time and place or do you want the blessings that you ask for? For many in the world today, the witnessing of God's marvelous grace is more popular than God's truth and that is a very fatal mistake. It seems as if the Lord is forever the embodiment of grace, blessings, compassion and mercy and because of this, we believe in God and we expend ourselves for Him with great enthusiasm and are willing to follow Him all through our lives. Then there comes a day in our life when God baptizes us in discipline, frustrations, diseases and trials. Yet at such times our faith in Him suddenly disappears, suddenly turns cold and we begin to misunderstand and blame God. We become weak to the point of being unable to get back on track. Now encountering unfortunate events such as setbacks and ailments do not as we imagine mean that God has forsaken us and no longer protects us. Rather they are God's trials to refine us and God's trials contain God's good intentions. Now actually God has given us life and supplied us with all things necessary for our survival such as air, food and the truth to live by. Therefore it is the law of heaven and the earth that we should believe in and worship God. If our belief in God is only for the sake of being blessed and claiming grace after grace from Him then God will not approve of such a belief system. Now there is a story of this woman who was cured of her illness and was blessed with a successful business career after she first believed in Jesus Christ and she made a resolution you know to repay God's love so she was willing to donate money and was willing to go to preach the gospel whenever she had the time but later on after suffering the failure of her business and illness she lost her faith in God and even blamed and misunderstood him but a few Christian sisters ministered to her and enabled her to realize her mistaken viewpoints. And then she saw that her belief in God had impurities, transactions and demands. Now God allows us to encounter trials in life to perfect our own faith in Him. Without experiencing these trials which He allows in our life. No matter how many years we may have followed God or how much of God's grace and protection we may have received, our stature would forever be little as an infant and we would only know how to demand grace and blessings from God and bear testimony only to His grace, yet never know how to be firm in faith and bear glorious and resounding witness for God in all types of uh, situations and environments. Therefore, at times setbacks and trials are what we need in our spiritual life and these are God's greatest love and salvation for us to perfect us in our faith. Through experiencing them, we can realize our impurities in our belief in God and moreover understand 
that these unfortunate events befalling us, these setbacks befalling us, do not mean that God has abandoned us. Rather, it means that God is purifying us and perfecting us. And these gains are much more better than any material blessings that we could receive. Let's look to God in prayer. Father, we thank you and we praise you for this morning. And we thank you that you allow disciplines in our life. You allow trials in our life only to perfect our faith in you. Enable us, Lord, to look up to you for all that you do in our life. Only to enable us to be more disciplined so that we may be more holier and we may be able to witness for you genuinely where you have placed us. Bless us together that we may persevere even amidst the trials to know that it is only for us that you intend good. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. God bless you and have a wonderful day.